Good morning, everybody. So I have a little fun thing to share with you this morning. I think this is hysterical anymore. You see, here's what happened. I spent this whole last year understanding that God was sending me on a mission. And the, this mission wasn't about me in, in its totality. I was going to be blessed at the end of this mission, but this mission wasn't for me specifically. This mission was for these demon slayer pastors out here uh, because God really can use them big time. Um, but Satan still has control of them. So this was why I was put into their awareness. And it's been very hard for me. It's been very hard being attacked by all of them and not having any support here whatsoever. The only thing that I can tell you, the, the Holy Spirit has blessed me abundantly throughout all of this. And which, which is why I'm, I'm just obedient. I, I do what I'm told. And um, whatever happens, happens. I know that as long as I'm obedient to the Lord, I will be blessed. It doesn't matter what people of the world say about me. This is how you can truly tell when a person is not of the world. Okay? It's not about fitting in anywhere. But in fact, nobody likes to be gang attacked. It's not a nice feeling. It's not a nice feeling at all. And... Um, I had another one of these pastors out here who used to make videos screaming like a lunatic. Well, if you died to self, why does it matter what people say about you? He hasn't been in my shoes and he really should have shut his mouth because he's just ignorant. He's just ignorant. But I more or less left him alone because he's still asleep, but he, he does come from the heart. He preaches the gospel the way it's supposed to be preached. I didn't say a word to him. Uh, not until the end, but, uh, and even then I was light on him. You, you don't really understand what this, what this is like. And even for someone who has transcended the world, who understands that these people are asleep, it's not a, a nice and comfortable thing to have to go through. But I still was out here every day helping people and had a smile on my face, right? Um, that's all I can say. So here's what happened yesterday. Um, well, I made that video to Daniel. And um, the Lord was very happy with that video. I have to say that he was very happy. And um, I got the understanding that Daniel took what I said seriously. And he's going to implement some, if not all, of the things that I said. So, And God is very happy about that. It's beautiful. Um, here's the other thing. So in so in that video, I said, I said, well, well why, why haven't you all attacked uh, Jenny Weaver? Why haven't you all attacked uh, Ramirez? They were the real Satan worshipers, not me. Um, and here's what happens. Listen, if you ever want to go on uh, Vlad's channel. Let me mention your name. You know what happens. These people are all of the world and Satan is still running their life. They believe, they believe that they're all in for Jesus. I'm getting ready to show Jenny where she's failing. Um, it's so funny. It's so funny. So, um, so what happens when, when I speak truth these demons start manifesting. Vlad, this guy starts foaming at the mouth when I speak. His demons start manifesting so bad. So what happens? I say, I say to, um, I say to Daniel, well, what about Jenny Weaver? You, ha you, you haven't said anything about, you haven't attacked her. So the very next night, there's Jenny Weaver on Vlad's show. I'm going to put that, that video in the description. I want you to hear her testimony. I want you to hear all the demonic things this girl has done. Um, and she talks about that she was, she was in the church singing in the choir for three years with demons, massive demons in her. Um, but of course, she didn't speak about her demons. And so nobody knew she had demons because everybody's in the sleep, you see. And everybody has demons. As long as you don't buck the system, 
the demons will not attack each other. Do you understand? Demons are all up in this church. I want you to fully understand this. Demons are all up in the church. This is why I explained to Daniel that Christians are not Christians. They believe the, the word Christian is their religion. A Christian means, and this is how the word Christian came into existence, is because the people, uh, the people in the Middle East were actually making fun of the apostles. And they called them little Christ because they were Christ-like. They were imitating Christ. So they were called Christians, Christians, okay? You should only be called a Christian when you are Christ-like. None of these people out here should be called Christians. None of them. So um, what happens? Jenny goes on Vlad's show. She tells her testimony. She's singing in a church for three years. And then someone asked her if um, she wanted to go to a deliverance service. And these demons came out. Uh, and she believes she's fully empty. Here, This is what I was speaking to Daniel about. The deception of these demons. She believes she's, she's fully free. She's empty. I'm about to show her that she's not even close to being empty. You see, you will understand that when I make a video and Vlad comes out with a, with a video, that night or the very next night, his demons are manifesting. He just wants to prove me wrong. This is a manifestation of his demons. That's all it is. See, this is why I have never spoken to Vlad to try to explain anything to Vlad. Although I know he's stalking my page. So is Rick Hard. So, so is, uh, what, what's the other two? Everett and uh, Ilias. They're, they're all stalking my page. Jenny's stalking my page. They're all stalking my page. Now, why is that if I'm such a demon? Why is that? And more and more, I'm seeing them use my teachings. Okay? Why is that? Last night, I heard Signorelli talk about that the soul aspect, the soul aspect is your emotions and your psychological mind. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Please feel free to use everything I say out here. I would love for you to be teaching people the correct information. And I would just pray that you would apply it to your own lives and apply it to yourselves. So, uh, Vlad, I don't know if there's anything that can be done with this guy. His ego is so hard. His heart is so hard. He believes he's there already. He believes he's the Johnny Carson of YouTube Ministries. This guy's a joke. So, here's what I saw immediately. Well, Jenny was talking about her experiences. And also what I said in my video to Daniel was listen to people who have been in the cult. We know. Well, Vlad is trying to say that she was in the occult. She knows. Um, except what he didn't hear. You see, it's selective hearing. What he didn't hear about is about how deceptive these demons are. They will make you believe that they're from God. There's also a spirit called the false Jesus. Did you know that? Did you know that Satan will actually make you believe that you're, you're actually worshiping Jesus? Did you, did you understand that? And here's the difference. So why wouldn't I have a false Jesus here? Why wouldn't I have a false Jesus? I actually went to a, a demon slayer two nights ago. I literally drove three hours to get there. I had to drive three hours back, got home at 1230 at night. This demon is still here. And in the, in the process of this, but the demon manifested something terrible. Oh, it manifested something terrible. But the guy couldn't get the demon out. And, um... What he said to me was that um, the spirit of a fake Jesus was in here. And I, I wanted to fall off my chair laughing. I wanted to fall off my chair laughing. Listen, let me, let me explain to you guys what the difference is. You see, all of these people out here pretending that they're, they're loving God and they're doing the work of God, they're all of the world. 
you see, the only guide and reference that we have to gauge what is truth is the Bible. Doesn't matter what anybody says. Doesn't matter what I say. The only gauge to truth that we have is the Bible. So you will have to understand that what you see in all these demon slayers, uh, Jenny's now a part of that group. Uh, so is Ramirez. Anybody else who's casting demons who is who has buddied up with these people who have joined the clique, um, you can count them all as demon slayers rather than rather than uh, followers of Christ because they've set their priorities and it's it's about being in the clique and it's about being of the world. That is their highest priority at this point. So it's all about name and fame and money. Not about the work of Christ. And this is what I saw prominently displayed last night in that interview with Vlad and Jenny. And um, speaking about how uh, this, this ministry that Jenny started and how big it's gotten and she's got a book out and this Christian network interviewed her and after the Christian network interviewed her everything just exploded now she's traveling the world listen let me tell you something all of the stuff you're seeing out here and all of the the um the gauges by which these people were using against me to say that God wasn't here because I didn't have a lot of money I wasn't traveling the world like they were like I should be like they are no, praise God, I'm not like they are. And I want you to think about this. As I said, use the Bible as your gauge for truth. Tell me, uh, the Apostle Paul, who, who wrote the, uh, the majority of the Bible, by the way, before Jesus went to him and, and changed his heart, Paul the Apostle was actually a Pharisee. So he was a, a religious teacher of the law. And he was persecuting Christians. He had a very prominent standing in his community. He was of the world. Wasn't worried about money. I, wa I want you to catch these correlations here. So he was of the world. He was not worried about money. He was well known. Once Jesus came to him and changed his heart and he started ministering as an apostle rather than a Pharisee, what happened? He had no more money. He was wandering, teaching the Bible, teaching Jesus' word. And he spent a lot of time in jail. He wasn't out traveling the world. He wasn't rich. Now, do you understand? When you are of the world, the world will celebrate you. When you are not of the world, the world will persecute you. So, Miss Jenny last night wanted to come on Vlad's show and um, discredit what I said. Um, she shouldn't have done that. You see, these people are not open to learning. They're not open to hearing truth because they think they're finished. Well, that is uh, Leviathan spirit. That is Leviathan spirit. You see, because we're never finished. We're never finished. As long as you are of the world and you're out here talking about how wonderful you are, you're of the world. Here's the thing that struck me with Jenny. Daniel did uh, um, an open deliverance uh, thing here. I don't know what they're called. Mass deliverance thing in Orlando uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was. So Jenny was there. Um, Isaiah was there. I don't know who else was there. Um, Here's what happened with Jenny, though. You see, Jenny started opening that big mouth. She has a big mouth. Um, she started opening her big mouth at Daniel's mass deliverance. There was a girl that had given her testimony. And uh, Jenny didn't have to open her mouth or butt her face in there, but she chose to do that. Okay. Um, the girl was talking about her testimony, 
And she said that the demon slayers were very supportive of her. And Jenny sticks her face in the camera and, and yells, well, we were so supportive of you because you're supportive of us. Well, if that wasn't a little Jezebel there. Yeah, and that was a dig towards me. Because you see, Jenny knew, because she's been following what's been going on out here for the past year, Jenny knew that all of these demon slayers were attacking me and calling me a witch. She absolutely knew what was happening out here. And instead of speaking out against it, like a, like a true disciple of Christ who worships God in spirit and truth, she decided to be a hypocrite because she wanted success in the world. And she believed that these demon slayers were going to get her just that. So what did she do? She kept her mouth shut this whole time. And she actually, when... when Mike Signorelli started coming out bad on me, and I really exposed him. As I can tell you guys, um, I speak in spirit and truth, and I can see right through every last one of them. I can tell you exactly who every last one of them is. And I could also tell you who I was in great detail before I woke up. This is what happens. This is what happens. There's no more blinders on. The Holy Spirit lifts the veils. So when all of this stuff was happening with Signorelli, uh, what did Jenny Weaver do? She went to Signorelli's church and, they, and they, they displayed her picture all over the place. She went and sang there. It was all, it was all uh, really good. So um, now here she is last night. And, and then she made that comment uh, at Daniel's Mass Deliverance. Um, like the little demon girl that she is. And here she is last night talking about that she has this group called CORE, and it's all about supporting women in ministry. And, and she, she got up on this soapbox, oh yeah, women, we gotta speak out in ministry, and if you keep your mouth shut, how, how you gonna speak out for God's purpose out here? Your voice is necessary, blah, 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 blah. As she watched with apathy, as I was being brutally attacked by all of these demon slayers. That is massive hypocrisy. And it is massive apathy. And no, she's not fully delivered. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Let's take a look at a few things. What does the Bible say about apathy? See, when you see another person being abused... Another uh, a person who is a true disciple of Christ, when you see a person being persecuted because they're speaking truth and they refuse to bow to the demons of the world and you do nothing about it and you say nothing about it and you go right along with it, guess what that makes you? Then you want to come out here and talk about how you've got a women's ministry going on? Well, you're nothing but a hypocrite, sweetheart. You're nothing but a hypocrite. Let's see what the Bible says about apathy. Revelation 3.16. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Amen. Romans 12.11. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. What does it mean to serve the Lord? Does it mean, ser does serving the Lord mean going out in public places so that you can get the glory or does it mean that Jesus will get the glory and if Jesus is getting the glory then you will be speaking out against all injustice so you're not lukewarm you don't pick and choose what battles you're going to fight especially when it comes to people who are serving the Lord unless you're, in, you're, you're being controlled by a spirit of deception and by uh, Leviathan. Zephaniah 1, 12 to 13. At that time, I will search Jerusalem with lamps and I will punish the men who are complacent. Those who say in their hearts, the Lord will not do good, nor will he do ill. Their goods shall be plundered and their houses laid waste. 
Though they build houses, they shall not inhabit them. Though they plant vineyards, they shall not drink the wine from them. Do you understand? The Lord will send his messengers, his disciples, who are true to him and not their own ego. He will send them with his word because we're open to listening to him. Do you understand? Right now, just as Paul did, he was sitting in a jail cell, yet he sent his letters to the churches. Paul was not filled with riches. Paul was not driving a Lamborghini. Paul did not have the ability to go to Italy for a slice of pizza. Do you understand? You will understand the concepts of what Jesus meant by do not be of the world. You will understand that the deeper you go into truth. You see, it is Satan that, that sends these people all around the world and, and brings all the money. And now you say, why would, why would Satan do that? Because that is building up the kingdom of God. Is it really? Is it really? And I want you to think about this. All of these people uh, with all of this money and all of this name and fame and it's all coming at them. What's happening? They're moving further and further away from God. Their egos are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's becoming all about them, not all about Jesus. So is this really about the kingdom of God? What's happening to all of God's people who are being delivered from these demons, yet they're not being taught the truth about why the demons are actually there? They're going back to their sinful ways and they're getting filled with more demons. Is it really about God's kingdom what they're doing? No, it's not. And you've got to be able to see into the spirit to understand this. This is what Jesus meant by do not be of the world. And there is a domino effect that happens. You know, I, I, I saw a video yesterday that um, a Pulitzer Prize was just given to a physicist who actually proved Einstein's theory was wrong. And that the, the universe is absolutely alive. And I mean the universe, not God. The universe is absolutely alive. And it, it actually thinks independently of anything around it. Okay? This is, what, this is what is called the pure awareness. This is what is called the pure awareness. So what, what did this Pulitzer Prize winning physicist understand and write in his paper? is that the universe is completely random. And this is what I've been teaching out here. Although nothing happens by accident, the Lord will put people on our path that, that we need to have on our path to bring us to the lessons that he wants for us to open us up. But here's the, here's, here's the key point here. We all have free will. We all have free will. And whichever way we turn, we turn towards God or we turn towards the world, it brings about the next lesson. Do you understand? And that's one of the things that Nisargadatta constantly spoke about is that the universe is completely spontaneous. Which I have always known. So, our thoughts create our actions and our actions create the next lesson that's going to be brought to us. Do you understand? Who's actually bringing our thoughts to us? As I said, we were not born with a psychological mind. So it's these demons bringing these thoughts to us. Do you understand how this game is played? Are you starting to get a picture here now? These demons will bring a thought to us are we going to act on that thought? And if the, if the thought gets too bad, are we going to turn to God or are we going to turn to the demons, turn to the world? For most people out here, until they, they fully get called on a path, they turn to the world. We will turn to drugs. We will turn to alcohol. We will turn to cigarettes. We will turn to food. We will turn to gambling. We will turn to 
uh, work. We will become workaholics. Uh, we will become sex addicts. Um, we could be. We could become addicted to everything and anything. We can become uh, religious addicts. Um, we we could, we could be addicted to anything. Because you are a religious addict, does that mean you've turned to God? Nope, that's part of Satan. You see, religion is in Satan's kingdom. This is all a part of the deception. So all these people think they're out here and, and they're 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 walking in the light, yet they're out here attacking a prophet of the Lord. This is the joke about everything. This is the joke about everything. Yeah, Satan's sitting there smiling really big. Really big. And the fact that they believe they don't have to deliver any demons from themselves <laughs> because they're so anointed. Yes, yeah, Satan's smiling really big. Revelation 3, 15 to 16. I know your works. You are neither hot, cold nor hot. With that, you are either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. Ephesians 5, 16 making the best use of time because the days are evil. Amen. Romans 12, 9 to 13. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hallelujah. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor, not competition. We're not against each other to see who loves God the most, who can get the most followers, because it's not about us, it's about Jesus. So we should not be in competition if we are truly in Christ, and all of these people are in competition with everybody, including themselves. They are of the world, and Satan is still running their lives. And their apathy and, and hypocrisy about witnessing all of these people abusing me, yet calling themselves demon slayers. And for this chick to get her face in a camera when she didn't have to say a word and get involved in this, for her to stick her face in the camera, she did exactly what Daniel Adams did. She did exactly what Daniel Adams did. She had to get her face in the camera and say, well, we'll support you because you supported us, knowing full well that these demons were out here attacking me. I didn't start attacking them first. And if you listen to her testimony, she knows full well that the third eye is real. And that when I corrected Signorelli, I was doing the right thing. Here's what I could have done. I could have stayed in apathy and, be, and been a hypocrite like these people. And I could have not said anything. I could have let Signorelli's lie stand as truth. But no, I walk in spirit and in truth. And so I corrected the record because people's lives were in danger. Something that none of these people have learned how to do. As they all judge the one who has done it. Okay? You understand when you are not of the world, you have no fear of the world because you want nothing from the world. Therefore, I don't have to count out to anybody out here because I don't want anything from anybody out here. These people think they're wielding all this power and especially these demon slayers, they really believe that they had a corner on the market, that they were the only ones out here doing, doing demon slaying and uh, they're delusional. There's people all over the world doing demon slaying. They're delusional. And um, I've shown them that through the Holy Spirit. It wasn't me. It's been through the Holy Spirit. John 5, 39 to 40. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. Amen. Because if these people were really in Christ, they could never be hypocrites. They could never be attacking people out here. They could not. They could not do it. They could not do it. Proverbs 15, 19. The way of a sluggard is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. Is a level highway. And it's the same thing that Jesus said about the peace beyond all understanding. What actually happens when you get into that peace beyond all understanding? 
It's actually you're in a neutral space. This is our true aspect, our spirit, man. We're in a neutral space. We experience great compassion, great love, um, but we don't we don't uh, stay in the in the negative emotions. We will, we will have righteous anger, but we will never stay in a, in a anger or a rage or jealousy or envy. Or well, there's some of these people out here were saying that I was jealous of them. Lord have mercy, never in a million years, never in a million years. Um, you see, this is all projection. This is this is stuff that happens in the personhood. And this is stuff that they go through, so they believe that that's what I'm going through. Because they have no clue who I am, because they haven't arrived here yet. James 4, 7, in a nutshell, Jenny, this is for you, sweetheart. James 4, 17, so whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. And there's more. Uh, Galatians 6, 9, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. See, apathy comes from Satan's kingdom. Apathy comes from Satan's kingdom. What does the Bible say about hypocrisy? 1 John four twenty. if anyone says I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he, whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Not to mention that God is in every single one of us. Who are these people abusing this whole time? Well, they were literally abusing God. Who are these people calling a witch this whole time? They were literally calling God a witch. Okay? Because there is no personhood here anymore. There's spirit here. They were literally calling God a witch this whole time. Matthew 7, 5, you hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Amen. James 1, 26, if anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. So this is exactly what I've been saying to you. You cannot stand on the stage of a church and call a person a witch and then turn around and say you're you're of God. You're 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 so highly anointed. No, you can't do that. That's hypocrisy. That's demons speaking out of you. That's demons speaking out of you. And for Miss Jenny to be talking about how how she's supporting women in ministry out here, she's a hypocrite. She's a hypocrite. She's been following this whole fight and battle that's been happening with these demon slayers this whole entire year, and she has never spoke out against it. In fact, she has joined in on it. She is a hypocrite, and that is purely demonic. And Miss Jenny believes that that all of her demons have been. She went to one one uh, deliverance service. She went to one deliverance service from what she says and demons were manifesting and she was rolling around on the floor and she believes that she's done well let's bring to your attention that i said that now i'm up to 75 demons um let's also bring to your attention the fact that even apostle pagani himself has had five deliverances so far he's not done yet either he's not done yet i'm going to tell you what i can see in apostle i have i i don't like what he's done to me i don't like what he's done to me and um He's on his own path, that's all I could say. Apostle Pagani has done so much for Christians out here by his honesty and literally putting that video out here showing that he got a deliverance. He had done so much for Christians out here by that video. I don't even know if he really understands what he's done. This is what true disciples and followers of Christ are. Because if, if, if it was his ego saying, I want to be an apostle, I want to be called an apostle, he would have never let that video out here. He would have never let that video out here. I have great respect for him, for what he's done. He's done so much for Christians just by that video. For all of these people out here that were saying that Christians can't have demons and that were saying that if you have a, Christ, if, if you have a demon, you're not a Christian. Well, in fact, that is a true statement. But the people who are saying this are not Christians themselves. 
because if they were, they would not be out here calling Christians not Christians and not giving them an explanation. It was a derogatory statement meant to tell people, you're a demon, you're not, you're not with Christ, you don't have the Holy Spirit with you, you're a demon. So it, it was it was an attack on on Christians. It wasn't it wasn't in spirit and truth. It was of Satan and the world. It was an attack. And Apostle Bagani had done so much for these people out here who are still in the sleep, calling themselves Christian, believing that that's their religion. They are, they are not Christians. Truly, they're not because they're not Christ like. But they believe Christian is their religion. He has done so much for these people to say, yeah, Christians can have a demon. And to hopefully show some of these people what kind of sleep they're in. You see, always what happens when we stand in judgment of other people, it comes back to us. As I said, the universe is spontaneous. You will see this flowing all around you. Now that I brought it to your awareness, you will see it flowing all around you. You have a thought. The thought is put into your mind by these demons. It's usually a negative thought. How can you get ahead and trample on somebody else? <clears throat> As what happened yesterday, I, I made that video to Daniel, and I said, Daniel, you could be one of the first people out here teaching this. What did Miss Jenny do? She jumped on Vlad's, uh, Vlad's show and uh, started. Everybody in the church needs to get delivered. Everybody needs to get delivered. Let's start with the with the choir. Let's start with the deacons. Let's start with this. Really, is that right? Is that right? Well, Daniel, you see what kind of cutthroat you're hanging with. This is why the Holy Spirit told you, you may have to remove yourself from some people. Okay. But praise God, the message is getting out there. The message is getting out there. Although she refuses to look at herself to understand how Satan is running her around. Yeah, buddy. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. Matthew 7, 1 to 5. Judge not that you not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is a log in your own eye, you hypocrite? First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Hallelujah. Matthew 15, 7, 9. You hypocrites! Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Amen! That's what you're seeing out here. Uh, everything is cutthroat. Everything is competition. Everything is ego. Everything is name and fame. Everything is let me get your money. It's all of the world. And this is what I have been trying to help these people understand. Not because I'm jealous of them. No, 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 no. You don't understand the work that I have done with the help of the Holy Spirit. I could, Like I said, I could never have done this alone with the Holy Spirit. You don't understand the work that I have done to transcend the world. Do you, why do you think that I would ever be jealous of anyone that is still of the world? What, it doesn't make any sense. And no, the sleep never makes sense. This is how you know you're dealing with a sleeper because there will be chaos in the mix. Do you understand? Anyone who comes from God and is walking in spirit and truth, there is a tranquility about you. There, there, there is a want and a desire for peace. Not anger and fighting. Not anger and fighting. And not competition, that's for sure. Not competition. Second Timothy 3 5. Having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power, avoid such people. First John 2 9. Whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in darkness. This, this is everything I've been saying out here, you guys. This is why I'm telling you. You've got to become the Bible. And it, it's it's not that 
it, it's not that you have to memorize what's in the Bible because when you become the Bible, when you are in the existential reality and you have transcended the world, this is where Jesus was. This is where Jesus taught from. God's truths emanate through you. God only has one truth. Satan is the father of lies. Satan is the deceiver. God only has one truth. No, I have, I've never gone to Bible school. I've never studied. The, I only started reading the Bible last year. Yet I'm speaking everything that's in the Bible. Why? Because this is God's truth. There's only one truth. And you can see when people are attacking people, especially when, uh, when one person out on the internet is being gang attacked and group stalked by people. These are the demons attacking the light. You, when you have a person who's awake, demons manifest around us. Demons manifest around us. This is why we get attacked. This is what was happening to Jesus. This is what was happening to all the apostles. Demons would manifest around them. Demons don't like the light. It hurts their eyes. And they don't want to hear the truth. Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Amen. 1 John 2, 4. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Do you understand? The truth is very simple, you guys. And it's not a matter, it's not a matter of putting on an act where your inner space really wants to lash out at somebody, but you're, you're going to put on a false face out here to be peaceful and calm and it's all love and light. No, it's not that. Your inner space is completely open. It's completely free. You truly do not hate and you truly want to see people wake up. So you speak truth constantly and you don't care about the world because you want nothing from the world. It's not that you're poor because God is not blessing you. It's it's your, your where God wants you, and you accept that with love and with gratitude for wherever God has you, which is what I have done, which is what I have done. And what I understand is these people out jet setting all over the world who, who have been preaching this prosperity gospel in the name of Jesus are going to have to answer for that. You see, it reminds me of the story of the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man w would not even give Lazarus the crumbs off of his table. And when they both died, the rich man was put in hell. And he looked up and he saw Lazarus standing with Abraham. And he thought, why is, how could this be? And Abraham told him, you had all the goodness and the riches while you were on the earth. And Lazarus did not. He will have them for all eternity now. If you want to be first, you must be last. By picking and choosing what Bible verses you want to ascribe to, doesn't mean that um, Satan is not running your life. And you really have to understand this. I hope you all are blessed. Jenny, I hope you get more deliverance. And I hope you learn to actually walk in spirit and truth and if you want to be a proponent for women you, that that really should mean that you would be a proponent for all women you have a blessed day